Why, hello YouTube, it's uh, Pain975 again, and I'm just going to show you uh, a couple of things that I use in Sony Vegas Pro, my project properties for all my videos and what output I render them in and all that jazz. So uh, I'm just going to go to my project properties and I always, always, always start with uh, a 1280 by 720, I always start out with that. Um, you want to ignore that field order thing, I ignore that too, and uh, definitely don't want stereoscopic 3D, I don't even use that at all. I don't think anybody on YouTube uses that, not that I know of, but, oh, excuse me, I got a burp. Oh, it's not going to come out, but, um, pixel format is 8-bit, uh, full resolution rendering quality is best, uh, motion blur, this is important, keep it at Gaussian asymmetric it's uh you're, me you're gonna mess your whole video up if you don't if you have it at I don't know a box asymmetric I wouldn't even touch that so the interlace method that's for um if you record it let's say you got some footage from your PlayStation 3 and you record it into an ADI and you ne needed to remove some uh there's these lines that come on your screen when you record in 1080i or 480i or whatever it's just a weird format that you're recording in so if you're recording in like uh, 720p then I would just ignore that for right now and uh, audio is uh, kinda important but it's gonna be affected by the output rather than the input anyway so this isn't really too important right now uh, just ignore all of these over here. I don't really use that that much, but uh, yeah, uh, you want to go ahead and put a random clip in because I want to show you what I usually do to get these top quality picture perfect. So, uh, excuse me, that there's that burp. Sorry, I just had some nice tall glass of water and it was pretty good. But anyways, every clip that you put in the Sony Vegas that you want to go ahead and right click and click properties and disable resample because if you don't then you'll notice when you output videos on YouTube and say like you pause it to go get something to drink then you'll notice it's really hard to explain I'm gonna have to split the video right here and show you guys alright to show you guys uh, smart resample this is smart resample right here I forgot to disable smart uh, resample in this video this was my counter shark video talking about the um my blackberry and stuff but you notice how there's a uh, two frames in one still this is just an image still I took from my video that the like, blackberry counter-strike video and you notice how this is the death animation or where I was just about to respawn and you notice how that there's two enemies to the left and then there's two guys right here in front of me but that's all just one frame and that's smart resample you don't want that that's just really ugly <clears throat> and then this next clip coming up right here I took from my uh, summer commentary where this is disable resample and it's very very faintly faintly shown that the there's one enemy there's two enemies oh well there's four enemies right there it's very faintly shown and I, I think I actually put force resample on this one by accident but it's a lot less uh, noticeable if you do disable resample and you pause the video on a single frame you won't be able to notice this and you see you can barely you can barely see my player holding his gun up very well and that's the sable resample you don't want that in your video so yeah anyways you want to go ahead and do that and you see how there's a black bars right here now in some situations you can remove that by clicking on the event pan crop and go to uh, maintain aspect ratio and hit no and it's going to stretch the image to fill your as uh, your defined aspect ratio which is 1280 by 720 in this case but um if you do it to the extreme let's say you have like a one by one video for some reason one width one height no nobody's ever going to have that but let's just say you do and if you hit that uh, maintain aspect ratio I can't talk today 
it's going to stretch the video out to the extreme and you're going to get a very blurred image and uh, it's really hard to explain if I don't have a video for you guys to show it, show you but you'll get the point. Um, when that's all said and done and you're done editing, editing your movie and all that, you know, that jazz, split, delete, make this short as possible. When you're exporting your video, you want to go to render as, and these are the settings I use. That way they, the video looks nice, the audio isn't too bad, but it's, it's not top quality. You could tell uh, if you watch my um, Counter-Strike videos, I started using this setup. And uh, the audio wasn't too great, but it's sufficient. Nobody watches my videos anyway, so oh well. But um, yeah, I usually, I don't save it in Windows Media Video V11 anymore, the WMV, because those were huge files for me and they would encompass like one gigabyte files. It would look great, but man, those files are massive. So I just did Sony AVC slash MVC, which is the MP4 file format that it's going to output into. And I did this drop down menu and I went to internet 1280 by 720 30p, which is, I'm guessing, 30 frames a second. And that's almost exactly what we started the project with, which is pretty damn neat go to custom you want to check all this out um the frame rate uh i would not mess with that i'm not too big on the frame rate even though it's 30.000p over here and it's 29.970 over here it still should still be okay so uh, i wouldn't even mess with that profiles baseline don't mess with that entropy encoding do not mess with that at all uh frame size uh if you wanted to customize, and let's say if you wanted to do a custom one, you could change this to uh, 1920 by 1080. You could output to uh, 1080p, which would be, which would have a very large video size for uh, yourself, but you'll get 1080p, but which is fine. But nobody watches my videos anyway, so there's no need to output that big. So I just stick to this one. Uh, preset template that's already in here and I really don't mess with these the audio now you can change this the reason my audio isn't that good anymore because it used to be 192 but now it's 128 which is totally fine because most of the time I'm just talking in my videos there's no music playing which needs to be you know picture perfect quality at you know well, not 6,000 but five 512,000, I don't think that your video size will be off the charts. It's ridiculous, but yeah. Keep that at 128, or if you want to you wanna make it sound better, keep it at 192. I'm going to keep it at 128, but yeah. Those are just a few trips, ticks, uh, I can't talk. Tips and tricks on uh, how to keep your video uh, size file down, but keep it looking nice and pretty. And uh, yeah. And since this, yes, hope right. This is only like a five second test video I did, so should render out in a less than a minute. So, yeah, and it's still gonna look good once you upload to YouTube, and it's gonna be a small file size, so it's gonna be uploaded quickly, like this video. But I'm gonna have to go back and edit this video to show you the uh, smart, this uh, smart resample and disable resample effects because it makes a huge difference how your video looks but yeah it's pain not seven guys I hope you I hope I helped you guys out and sorry for being so lazy lately I haven't been doing much but playing World of Warcraft because that's the best game ever and uh yeah it's pain on seven five and I'll catch you guys later